Hi dear students, this is Dr. Mamta Java, your microbiology faculty and in this short video, we are going to revise the important features of the five important hepatitis viruses that is hepatitis A virus, HAV, hepatitis B virus, that is HBV, hepatitis C virus, that is HCV, hepatitis D virus, HDV and hepatitis E virus, that is HEV. So guys, first and foremost, you need to remember the families to which these viruses belong. And for remembering that, from left to right, remember, private hospitals favor rich clients. Now, the very first letter of every word of this sentence is going to help you recall the names of the families of these viruses. That is, P of private stands for actually Picorna viridae family. So, HAV belongs to Picorna viridae family and the older name of hepatitis A virus is Enterovirus 72. H of hospitals stands for Hepadna viridae family. F of favor should serve as a reminder for Flavi viridae family. So, hepatitis C virus that is HCV is a Flavi virus. Now guys, R of rich does not refer to any name of any family because HDV is said to be a defective virus. It depends on hepatitis B virus for its replication because uh, HDV does not have the gene to make its own envelope. So this is a defective virus and it does not belong to any family. So from R just remember that it's an RNA virus. HDV is an RNA virus. Then lastly C of clients refers to Calciviridae family. So, hepatitis E virus that is HEV is a Calci virus. So, this is how you are going to recall the names of the families of these viruses. Next important feature is envelope. Remember guys, the middle viruses that is hepatitis B, C and D in this table, they are enveloped viruses. Whereas, the extreme viruses that is hepatitis A and E are non-enveloped viruses. Now, envelope is sort of a protection or a covering. So, in this table, remember that B, C, D, which are the middle viruses in this table, they are sort of, you know, being protected by the uh, extreme viruses that is A and E, which are at the ends of the table. So, remember, A and E are kind of exposed. So, they don't have an envelope, whereas B, C, D, the middle ones do have an envelope. There's an actual reason for this also, which I'm going to tell you in the next few minutes. Next important feature is cultivable or not. The only hepatitis virus which has been cultivated with somewhat difficulty is hepatitis A virus. None of the other hepatitis viruses have been cultivated yet. As far as genome is concerned, hepatitis B virus that is HBV is the only hepatitis virus which has got DNA as genome. The remaining hepatitis viruses are RNA viruses. Vaccine is available against which of these viruses? Remember guys, vaccine is available against hepatitis A virus hepatitis B virus and also hepatitis E virus but the vaccine against hepatitis E virus has been licensed for use only in China. There is no vaccine against hepatitis C virus because it shows a wide variety of uh, you know a wide variety of a, a glycoprotein uh, antigen which is present on its envelope. It is a highly variable or mutable virus a classical example of antigenic variation and you know that it is so tough to create vaccines for such kind of uh, organisms which uh, show antigenic variation so we don't have any vaccine yet for hepatitis c virus as far as hdv is concerned there is no vaccine against this virus also but if somebody has taken vaccine against hbv that person is automatically protected against symptomatic HDV infection also because HDV as I said is a dependent virus. It depends on its replication on HBV. Then lastly guys the modes of infection. Remember hepatitis A and E that is vowels are transmitted by vowel that is fecal oral root. So A and E viruses are transmitted by fecal oral root and to be able to transmit infection by fecal oral root that is to survive in the gut these viruses have to be non-enveloped because imagine if they were enveloped then the envelope would have been disrupted by the bile salts in the gut. So remember most of the viruses which cause GIT infection or which are you know spread by feco oral root most of them are non-enveloped only. The only two important uh, examples of uh, you know viruses which cause 
diarrhea but they are still enveloped are coronaviruses and cytomegalovirus as far as hepatitis b c d are concerned all three can be transmitted by transfusion of contaminated blood and blood products sexually and two important p's that is perinatal transmission and percutaneous so guys this is in brief about some of the important features which you should never forget about hepatitis viruses do let me know in the comment section if you like this video if you like it please subscribe to this channel please push the bell icon for notification for my future videos and share this video with your friends seniors and juniors you can also follow me on instagram facebook the links of which i'm going to put up in the description below you can follow me on these uh, social media handles for more updates on microbiology and immunology thank you for watching